Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, I'm just gonna give you an update because finally, I already received this mail and I already opened it because this one contains my 10 years green card. So yeah, I just wanna give you an update regarding my removal of conditions. If you guys remember, and I know a lot of you are waiting for this video update of my ROC that was filed last March of 2021. So I made a video regarding my I-751 packet and I stated everything in there, all the papers that I placed in the packet and everything that you need. And so far, I never received an RFE. And yeah, I just wanna run down on the outline that I have. So on March 18, I sent the packet through UPS and then March 22, the packet was delivered to the USCIS in Arizona. And then after like three weeks, April 12, I got a message from the USCIS that my case was already received. So that was April 12 and then two days after, UPS notified me that my NOAA is already in my mailbox. So the NOAA is... Yeah, so the NOAA is this one. It states your receipt number. So you may be able to track already your um, status online. And yeah, that's what you needed. So my NOAA one is made last April 10. And as I told you, I got the message from USCIS, a text message on April 12 and then April 14 I got this NOAA on my hand and here it states that your conditional resident status is extended for 18 months from the expiration date on your form I-551 permanent resident card so this one serves as a NOAA like your receipt that your application was already received as well as it also served as your like temporary green card because it states here that it's extended for 18 months because it takes sometimes it takes one year or more for like the removal of condition it depends on maybe it depends on the location because some are just fast some are not and if they are doing a lot i guess so yeah i always have this on my hand because the green card that i have was already expired last april so that's why i filed it last march so yeah that's it and then i just kept on checking my case status online and i don't see any changes and then after that it's been a while since i didn't get an update but as much as I remember, maybe around like around July. So I received an update that they still have my fingerprints and all that. So I wouldn't have to do it anymore because it's still valid. Like my biometrics like that. And this October, I just got another update, October 7, that the post office delivered a new card. And I was so surprised because I wasn't expecting that fast. So I got my green card on my hand. It's finally here. So yeah, this one expires on September 30, 2031. Yeah, so now I have my new green card. I haven't removed it and I haven't put it on my wallet yet. But yeah. So, in the span of seven months, I finally finished my whole visa process. I already have my 10-year green card and next step, we'll do the citizenship and we'll see when will that be. So, yeah, if you have any questions, just comment below and I'd advise you to watch my other video regarding this one so you might get any tips and helps regarding how to make or prepare your pocket and yeah so far I didn't get any RFE 
and also I didn't go to my biometrics and I didn't have any interview so I was so happy <laughs> it was a smooth sailing process so yeah finally I'm done I got my 10 years green card so if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to be part of my hashtag family in Z see you in my next one bye